A good uh, chicken keeps five arrows in the air at any one time. It's really kind of, it's really medieval artillery. I want to fire one to the Yorkist Army's family to within arrow range. They can advance and try and leave, make them leave. Uh, People did change sides, sometimes in the middle of the battle. The whole axe is there, bro. Okay, look. Okay, now nothing's shifting the Oxfords at the moment, but they're bringing in the big guns, and that's quite capable of taking out half that block. Just now, what's the Stanley? The Stanleys have a reputation as notorious side switches. They actually only did it once. <laughs> the Green Liberty Coach will see the wood bill. Oh. And now the fight is beginning. The colours of Orly himself. Advancing up the field with swords, bucklers, small seals, small hedging bills, and agricultural tools. Big bills, well, they're bills. In times of war, you take it to your local blacksmith and you put the sharp point. It really is quite a brutal weapon, especially if it's brought down in half. Straight on to quite capable of cutting a man in half. Yeah. war, so if the Englishman kicks the hill, hasn't gone down that well. Lord Lee himself has brought his, uh, brought his unit in to take on Salisbury in combat, and that's not gone well, that looks like a wound. Salisbury is a fierce fighting man, he's fought many wars. So our first notable casualty of dead on the field. Now, if I can ask you to enjoy your enjoyment, give a round of applause to the Earl of Salisbury. He wasn't a great commander. The death of Audley might not well be able to do this. But all he's tried once and rather this all have the wind behind them. Thomas Stanley's no fool. Okay, now we have a charge in by the Canterbury. The Oxford's holding that second area well there, but now breaking and moving down. The Duke of Beaufort moving in. Up the left hand flank towards the Howard, the Salisbury himself. This is a far more organised. They've been, they've been hit hard by a smaller army. And this doesn't work well. They're already getting fairly demoralised under the command of Lord Audley. They refer to him as that old school Audley. Because he wasn't great. He was just there on the basis that he was one of the Queen's favourites. Suddenly he's been entirely different fighting animals. You see him at the back there in the uh, Okay, If anything goes, anything starts to go wrong on one side, he can respond with his entire army. He goes much better. So the volleys of arrows still coming in on the Lancastrian archers because Lancaster just cannot get the up to the top of that hill behind that staking place from that. On the battlefield in the slightest. The idea is that you kill your opponent before he kills you. As quickly and dirtily as possible. Just so long as he's dead at the end of it. Chivalry is a French idea. I wonder if anybody could raise a hand if they're aware of the French military victory in any part of history. <laughs> Being killed, there was an orderly retreat out of St. Albans, and that led to 150 casualties in the entire battle. You look at the Battle of Southam, the Lancastrians, all 28,000 of them broke and routed, and 25,000 of them were slaughtered on the way out of the battlefield. Yeah. The machine gun, there were very few actual weapons England could put out. They had the firing rate of Palomba. Maybe so, maybe so. At this stage, it's both the Congress households running into charge now. They've been sat at the back for the battle. They're rested through. They were, they were ready for a fight. Coming out, surprise forces at the back, very fresh, and as you can see, they really are pushing that line back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The House of York at the top.
up to the hill, this is Mr John Savile taking on the Ormond and the Rochester City Lakers. They'll be able to stay up on that hill, they've not seen that much action, so again, they're quite well rested, they're not suffering effects of dehydration. None of them have picked up any wounds over the course of the battlefield so far. Arrow up on arrow. Now that's just still at the back, supervising this battlefield, not like the impetuous Audley, who felt that he had He's still very much on in the back of his mind the idea of becoming one of the Queen's favourites and all the power that goes with that. If he can bring Salisbury by the head on a spike, oh. uh, Charge! 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 